Okay, the first thing we do is hit the house on your remote control, you'll get this pop-up. And then there's some settings I want you to check. If you go over to the settings, you can see that it's already in gaming mode, but in some cases, it may be turned off. If that's the case, you wanna make sure it's turned on or set to automatic. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the picture mode and the sound mode is automatically preset to the gaming experience. Next thing you would do is go into your settings and then go down here to general. And then I want you to go over to where it says external device management. Under here, you wanna make sure that the gaming mode is turned on. You will go to input signal plus and make sure that box is checked and this is gonna give you the best output of the console. And then the last thing I want you to do is go down here to the bottom where it says game HDR and you wanna go and turn that on and this is gonna give you the HGIG standards if a game does support it. And that puts the game in the standards that the game was actually created. Now we got all that set up. You're gonna get this screen right here. And this is how you can adjust your screen area just by pressing up and down on the remote control as seen on the screen. Then you wanna press okay. And the next thing you're gonna get is the HDR settings. Now use your controller to go up and down into that little light right there just disappears. And this is setting up the HDR. You can see where it's bright until you can barely see it. Now we have the HDR set up. Now what you wanna do is go up here to the top where it says settings, and then you wanna go down to where it says sound. Under sound, you see you have some options like the microphone on the controller, but go down to audio output. Then you wanna go down to enable 3D audio for speakers, and this is gonna give you a better audio experience. Now what you need to do is make sure the volume's up at least about 30 or 40%. And then you wanna find the sweet spot where you're gonna sit most of the time. And it's gonna customize the sound of this TV to match the PlayStation to give you the best sound experience. Next, you wanna press on start measurement. And you wanna get completely quiet in a room when you hit next. And now the PlayStation is optimized for the best sound for you. And the last few things I wanna show you is under screen and video. And you can see that this TV will output 4K at 60 frames per second. The cable I'm using supports HDCP 2.3. Variable refresh rate is not supported on this TV, but you can see that HDR is. And if you try to turn on VRR, you'll get this uh, pop-up right here. So there's nothing you can do there. Now this TV will not support 120 hertz, so you're not gonna be able to get that out of it. And just in case you need to readjust anything on the screen, you can go here. Then, one other thing you can do is if you go down to save data and game app settings, you can go over to where it says game presets and it's set up default, but if you want the game console to give you a little bit better performance, you can go to performance mode. But if you want to give you better resolution, go to resolution mode. And that's pretty much it. Now you can start gaming. Thank you.